Good morning, everyone. God bless you. Happy Tuesday to you. This is another day that the Lord has made, and we are just rejoicing, and we're glad in it. We are glad that on this Tuesday, it's another opportunity for us to fast and pray and to seek uh, the face of God, to draw nigh to Him as He draws nigh to us, to abide with Him as He abides in us. We thank God for the jurisdictional prayer uh, that went forth at 6 a.m. on this morning. Thank God for the four times of prayer that we have on our Courageous Faith prayer line at 6.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 noon, and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What a great time we have on Tuesdays and Fridays when we all come together and pray. I believe that it's uh, so important for us as children of God, as people of God, to pray. So I just thank God for those that join in with us and pray with us. And even those that are, extend the invitation to come in and lead us in prayer, uh, those that do that as well. So what a great, great relationship it is to have. How good and pleasant it is, right? Scripture says, but brethren to dwell together in unity. So we thank God for the unity in the body. The devil does all that he can to destroy and to depress and to uh, to bring down the people of God, but we have to stand fast, hold fast to what we believe and what we know is right and what we know is righteous to do. I want to continue in my uh, alphabetical sequence of uh, the encouraging word for today. And today I want to speak on integrity. Uh, integrity is something that's near and dear to my heart because I was a member of the Air Force active duty for 23 years. And then I worked with the Air Force as a government contractor for 13 years, and then for eight years as a civil servant. Uh, so integrity is something that uh, the Air Force believes greatly in. And as a matter of fact, the core values of the Air Force, three core values that the Air Force has, and uh, I just, I really admire uh, a business or a service to take such a stance uh, with their core values. And I just think after you hear these, how important it would be for these to be adapted in our families and in our churches and uh, in our everyday life. You know, these are key things that all of us should be uh, striving for and, and reaching out to do every day. The core values of the United States Air Force are integrity first secondly service before self and thirdly excellence in all that we do integrity first service before self and excellence in everything that we do you know and i made that a part of uh my everyday life uh, as a member of the Air Force, and I incorporated those into my family and uh, in my church. You know, excellence is something that we always want to give when we're talking about uh, service to God and service before self. You know, we don't put the service uh, uh, before the things of God, but when we talk about serving in the church, we want to make sure that we are that we're putting God first, that He's first before we think about ourselves, We seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things can be added unto us. We want to make sure that God has his proper place in our lives. I thank God for who he is. Integrity is my word of encouragement to you today. Uh, the definition of the word integrity uh, is this, the quality of being honest, and having strong moral principles or moral uprightness. Moral principles, moral uprightness, quality of being honest. Can we just be honest in the things that we do? Does your word still count for something? You know, it used to be a covenant that people would make uh, by the shaking of the hands. All they had to do was shake hands with one another. And they knew that the agreement was sealed by the shaking of the hand. But I don't want to be uh, a person that when I say something, I don't live up to my word. You know, a good name is so important. 
good name, a good reputation uh, of being faithful to your word. The things that you said that you would do, you do. You follow through. So we have to have integrity as children of God. People are looking at us. People are watching us. And if we don't have integrity, then how can we how can we say that we are set apart from them? How can we say that we are the peculiar people that God called us to be? How can we say that we are a part of the holy nation, the royal priesthood? How can we say that if we're not living that? We have to live this life every day because we are as on a stage and people are watching us. We are the light of this world, saints of God, with the salt of this earth. So people are watching you and the things that you say and how you react to, to, to different situations. People are watching you. Now, we don't live our lives for people, but our lives are a testimony, a living testimony before this world. So they see us and how we react, how we how we conduct ourselves, our conversations that we have. People are watching us. So let's walk in integrity. Let's make sure that we live the quality out of being honest, that we have a strong moral principle about us and that we have moral uprightness. We want to live so that people will see our lives and want to emulate how we live. I'm going to go to two sets of scripture on today. I'm going to go to some scripture in Isaiah, the 26th chapter, and then I'm going to close out in Philippians, the fourth chapter. Isaiah 26, verses 1 through 7 reads as follows. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in the righteous nation. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high the lofty city he layeth it low he layeth it low, even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. Verse 7, the way of the just is uprightness. The way of the just, that's, that's us. The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright does weigh the path of the just. God is looking. God is watching. He's observing the things that we do uh, daily. He's watching and he's recording uh, our lives uh, so that we would have to stand one day and to give an account of what we have done, what we have said, uh, what we did with the gifts and the talents that he bestowed upon us. Are we using what he gave us or are we sitting down on it? We have to have integrity. Be honest. Be honest in our transaction. We don't cheat on our taxes. We don't cheat on our spouses. We have integrity. Integrity as children of God, as saints of God. We have integrity. Let your light so shine on this day that men may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Philippians, the fourth chapter, my final set of scripture for today. And I'm going to begin reading at verse number four. Philippians four, beginning at verse number four. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, finally, whatsoever things are true, 
whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. We dwell on the things of God. We keep our mind, as it says in Isaiah 26 and 3, we keep our mind stayed on God and God promised that he would keep us in perfect peace. I want peace. I want peace in my family. I want peace in my church. I want peace in my community. I want peace in this nation. The peace of God, the peace that God gives surpasses all understanding. People look at you. Uh, the world all around you may be, may, be, may be crumbling, may be sinking, but on Christ, the solid rock, we stand. All of the ground around us may be sinking sand. So I thank God for his word today. I thank God for integrity. Integrity. My word of encouragement for you today. Let's walk in integrity. Let's live with a, a life of integrity, honesty, uprightness, moral principles that we adhere to every day. Now, remember, if the Air Force can state that they have some relation uh, with with uh, the values, the values that they establish, uh, integrity first, that leads off. You must be honest. Integrity first in everything that you do while people are watching and while people know uh, nothing that you are doing behind those closed doors or wherever your office space may be. Integrity first. Service before self. We're not selfish. We're not selfish. It's not about me. It's not about uh, my way or no other way. Service before self. God before self. Prefer others greater than yourself. And then excellence in everything that we do. Let's not do the work of God haphazardly. Let's not do the work of God any kind of way. A little dab will do you. No, we're going to be excellent in the things of God. We're going to represent him. Uh, just like I come on this line, I want to give God everything, everything that he gives me to share with you. Integrity. Let's walk in it. Let's live it. God bless you all. Thank you for listening in on today. I want you to know that God loves you. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. We'll see you next Tuesday if the Lord bless and says the same. God bless you. Have a great Tuesday and a great week.